What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Kryptonian Sagan here, bringing you guys another Chainsaw Man chapter review for chapter 113. And we got to start out by saying our suspicions about there being another of the four horsemen, a devil, and part two of Chainsaw Man were absolutely correct. First, we had the control devil, Makima. Then we had the war devil, Yoru. And now we have the famine devil, Fami. If you predicted this mysterious girl who saved Yuko was actually the famine devil, congratulations, you are a great prognosticator. Because I totally thought that this was going to be the death devil but now we know for certain that this is a four horsemen of devils we can now confirm that the four horsemen of devils each have crazy eyes like makima because both yoru and fami have those same eyes however now that we got those initial thoughts out of the way let's back things up for a little bit and let's look at the chapter itself the chapter opens up with mitaka getting ready for a big date with denji and right away yoru tells her that she's not hot she has no riz and she's just a plain jane yoru basically tears her all the way down which is our first sign that Mitaka's plan to seduce Denji it isn't going to go anywhere at all however Mitaka is 100% convinced that she can pull off seducing someone like Denji and to her credit it is Denji the guy is eternally horny so it makes a lot of sense and she thinks that she can show Denji a good time he's going to fall in love with her and most importantly as she looks in the mirror she says that he's going to fall for her because she's just so darn cute which is a sign that Mitaka certainly doesn't lack for trying and in in this case she doesn't lack for any type of confidence however it's then that we see them on their date and right away you can tell things are not going well at all mitaka is talking so much that for a moment i thought i was reading a hunter hunter or jujitsu kaisen chapter series that i both love but they have a ton of text at times and fujimoto had mitaka drop a ton of info in this chapter apparently mitaka has been going to read up on all the different animals at the aquarium and getting all these random facts and information and and she's planned out how long they're going to spend at each and every exhibit down to the very last minute and our boy Denji is just dead set on seeing a penguin because he's never seen one before however Mitaka continues to explain more about the various animals that they're looking at and it's here that we see that Yoru's worries were correct Mitaka has absolutely no idea what it means to be attractive as a woman in the eyes of a man and she's failing horribly whereas Makima Himeno Reze they each knew how to seduce Mitaka is just a lost cause based on the various expressions that Denji's making in this chapter you can tell the guy's just thinking will you just shut up in his head but ironically it's actually Mitaku who tells him to shut up first it's then that we see Denji leave and Yoru appears next to Mitaka telling her that she needs to either go after Denji or she needs to realize that Mitaka's just boring which leads to Mitaka getting really offended and she's dead set on thinking that Denji's just too stupid to understand what she's saying and she tells Yoru that hey you're a devil so you can't understand and appreciate this information which is then what causes the famine devil Fami, to show up and reveal that she's the big sister to the war devil it kind of confirms the suspicion i had a while back that based off of yoru's childish antics and how she was acting and how she stated that bullying exists in the devil world this kind of confirms my thoughts that yoru was the weakest of the four horsemen of devils because Fami basically blows her off speaking of now that we've seen her for a few chapters now those earrings those are a red flag at first i thought I was reading too much into it because we didn't know for certain that she was a horseman, but those earrings look a lot like the ripcord that's on the chainsaw devil which makes me think this might have actually been something that she's keeping as a trophy since we know that the chainsaw devil has been killed at times in the past and it was nearly killed in the battle with the four horsemen of devils before so her being a four horsemen of devil this makes a lot of sense that those earrings are actually trophies from the past fights with the chainsaw devil now getting back to the chapter itself when fami confronts mitaka she tells her you're not going to be able to turn Denji into a weapon because you have a heart and you have strong morals it's then that yoru tries to warn mitaka about the famine devil but both of them suddenly vanish leaving mitaka alone in the aquarium this leads to fami speaking to her from the outside saying that she's taken yoru outside with her and she's created a scenario where she's going to be able to make mitaka throw out her morality in the process and so she can turn denji into a weapon and right on time denji shows up stating that they have an emergency on their hands denji states that no matter how far down he walks down the hallway he's unable to 
to get out and it leads him saying that a certain pain in the butt must have got out of hell and as he and Mitaka look down the endless hallway you can see exactly what Denji's thinking. Now Denji in my opinion is talking about the eternity devil and he wouldn't be wrong for making that assumption. By now if you're an anime only viewer or you're somebody who watched the anime and just sped read in order to get up to the current chapters you all remember the chapter slash episode where the eternity devil had everybody stuck on the eighth floor. So it makes a lot of sense that Denji jumped this conclusion. However I want to say this might and keyword might look like it's something that is specific to the famine devil and it kind of explains why she took yoru outside with her but it begs the question why do we now both have the war devil and the famine devil here at the same time and when you add in denji's watching over the reincarnation of the control devil that's three of the four horsemen of devils already gathered for part two of chainsaw man they're just in separate pieces on the chessboard now this also brings up the question what is fujimoto cooking right here this chapter works well for a few reasons though the way that fujimoto perfectly timed the foreshadowing of mitaka's date failing then her reassuring herself that she's gonna be cute enough to attract denji she has this brilliant plan in her head to attract denji and then literally the next thing that we see is that she's turning the guy off it's hilarious it's great comedic timing here you know you have to drop the ball hard when someone even as eternally horny as denji is being turned off by you and is looking for an excuse to get away from you denji the same guy who will let a woman sit on top of him and use him as a chair the same guy who's sex starved this is the guy that looked at me talking and said nope i'm good i'm not gonna lie there was a moment where i was reading this where i found myself hoping that yoru would actually take over me body in order to try and seduce denji because i'm starting to think she might have done a better job than me did because she was going so in depth about the various animals i found myself looking at the chunks of tests and saying jesus christ halfway through reading it but i got the comedic reasons behind this and i do think that it worked while continuing to add another layer to mitaka as a character in a strange way this actually makes her more personable because you see the lack of social skills and lack of feminine charm on her part as well as the lack of understanding about the opposite gender it makes you see that this is just an awkward teenage girl in one hell of a situation this also makes me wonder how things are going to go next once we see more of fami's powers start taking effect because she specifically said she's going to make a situation for Mitaka to turn Denji into a weapon and given what's going on right now Denji is dangerously close to revealing that he killed the eternity devil just based off of where the chapter ended and his knowledge that devils go to hell and then come back to earth the other thing about this is that this very well could be the eternity devil and nothing associated with the famine devil altogether Fami might have just known that the eternity devil is here regardless though there's some extreme fuckery going on in this chapter and it doesn't look good for our boy Denji right now but the bright spot is that if this is the eternity devil it is going to be weaker since the gun devil's flesh is what amped up the powers of the eternity devil in part one of the series which means denji should have an easier time in this fight than he did in part one of chainsaw man it just remains to be seen does denji actually use his powers in front of mitaka and if this happens what's going to happen with that class president who is going around seeing these chainsaw man it looks like the theory that we have two chainsaw mans is actually correct so my chapter question to you guys is if you were dingy would you have put up with mitaka or would you have just left or would you have just said like hey i'll let her talk and i'll smash afterwards that's a crude question but we gotta ask it so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below but while you think that over click here to watch these other chainsaw man videos you see on the screen right now